on guys uh summer slam 2000 review we got the right to censor defeating too cool this match really wasn't that good it was all about giving the right to censor the stink face and the right to censor one and stevie richards hit a kick on scotty too hotty two and a quarter stars x pac defeats road dog Boring match. I mean, it was decent. This D Generation X is pretty stale at this point, so it, nobody really cared that much. X Pac wins with a low blow and an X Factor. Two and a quarter, two stars. Eddie and China. The first half of the show is trash. <laughs> Eddie and China defeated Trish and Val Venus for the Intercontinental Championship. This is like a mixed tag team match, and whoever got the pin got the title. I'm pretty sure. China got the pin on Val Venus. Ugh, alright, match. Two and a quarter. Jerry Lawler defeats Taz, making Taz look like a jobber getting defeated by Jerry Lawler. Um, at the end of the match, uh, Jerry L I mean, uh, Jim Ross. Well, Taz is trash talking Jim Ross throughout the match. So Jim Ross took the, the huge glass thing of candy inside of it and he hit it at Taz's face and Jerry Lawler got the win. One and a half stars. Z Blackman defeats Shane McMahon for the hardcore title. He had that really sick spot at the end and off the platform thing, but uh, it was it was a pretty good hardcore match. Three stars and Steve Blackman wins. Chris Benoit defeats Chris Jericho in a two out of three falls and he ch he was cheating to win. He won. Well, the first fall ended up. I don't. I don't really like these two out of three falls matches because, like, the first and second falls, they wouldn't normally end like a real match. Like, Chris Benoit hits the crippler crossface and like four minutes into the first fall and wins, and Chris Jericho, uh, got the walls of Jericho on Chris Benoit in like five minutes, and then Chris Benoit won with the. Uh, Grabbing to the ropes, grabbing the ropes when he had a roll up. And Jericho in the last fall, three and a quarter stars. Uh, Hardy Boys versus Edge and Christian versus the Dudley Boys. Edge and Christian won this TLC match, the first ever one. So uh, when TLC comes, I'll be reviewing every single TLC match, and then I'll put them in order. When that time comes, and also with Hell in a Cell, I'll do the same thing. But it's gonna be a lot of matches to review. Oh god, that's gonna be tough. But anyways, um, Edge and Christian won. You know, basically the usual, the spots, the Swan Top and Bomb off the ladder onto the tables, the uh, the usual uh, stuff off the ladders. This is the one where Edge speared Lita. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, and Christian won this again. Won three of them. I don't understand why. Five stars. Classic match. Terry defeats the cat. Stink face match. I give it an NA. Because it really. It was just girls and thongs. It was hot, but. <laughs> it wasn't, like, me wasn't meant to be a match or anything. I gotta say, Terry Runnels, one of my favorite divas, probably, like, hot-wise. She looks like, she reminds me of, uh, Jennifer Aniston a lot. Um, give it an N.A. Terry, wait, no, the cat one, yeah. So, sorry I'm not in-depth with this review, because I'm tired I'm watching this. Uh, N.A. Undertaker. Kane and the no contest. This is stupid. Why would you have this on the pay per view? Star. This is all about Undertaker ripping off a mask, and it wasn't even like officially a match, so it was a waste of time. Give it a star. The Rock defeats Triple H Kurt Angle for the WWF title in the main event. Very good.